Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech, and I wanted to talk today about the newly released Android Wear, or at least the developer software is released. Also, I want to talk about wearables in general. The Moto 360 was announced for this summer, and uh, Google Glasses have been out for a while, as you know. And I wanted to give you some thoughts on Google Glass and talk about Android Wear and see what you think about it as well. I, I'm a pretty heavy iPhone user, but I also use a Nexus 4 quite a lot. I do have, or I have had, a Nexus 5, but I prefer the Nexus 4, actually, other than the LTE and the camera. So let me put the Google Glass on, and I have a hard time saying that for some reason, but you can see they're not, at least for me, they're not something I want to wear around all the time. They look pretty nerdy. Even with the sunglasses in, they don't look fantastic. And so that's my main problem with wearing them. You get weird reactions, some positive, some negative, and it's nice to have this little display if you're biking and navigating or something like that. It's great in the car uh, when you're driving around and trying to figure out where you're going. It's really great for that. But the problem with them is the way they look. Now, they do have those frames you can buy that are a little bit nicer now. And they're okay, but still they're not anything, I think, to the point where I would want to use these every day. Now these are really expensive too, and they should come down in price quite a bit, but that's part of the deal with being an early adopter. Uh, at $1,500, they're a little bit expensive, I would think. They should be more around two or 300 I think, for what's inside of them. And these are version 2 as well, and although physically they don't look any different, uh, they do respond a little bit better. But my thoughts on Google Glass versus your typical smartphone is, my smartphone takes better photos, by far, just about any smartphone takes better photos than Google Glass. And an iPhone 5S, a Nexus 5 even, uh, some of the other phones out there, Lumias, things like that, they all take better photos than Google Glass. And Google's fixed some of that with Google Play and their Auto Awesome feature, and they really do make the, the images look a lot better. But they're still not up to where I'd rather use them. In fact, my original reason for getting these was I was thinking I would record behind the scenes and I've done a couple of those with glass but the microphone quality and the overall video quality is just not good enough to be posting to you guys for the most part unless it's a sample video of some sort it just doesn't look that good usually unless you're in some really bright light other than that I'm curious if you would wear these and what you think about them now, with the announcement of Android Wear for wearable devices, and be sure to check out the video if you haven't already. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check it out. It is actually really good looking. Now, I'm not one that wears things on my wrist. Since having smartphones, I really don't wear a watch. I really don't like things on my wrist, actually, so I don't wear watches. But that's got a pretty promising or convincing functionality as far as being able to speak back and forth to them after you see the video, if you see what I mean. To be able to see a quick text and respond to it via voice is really nice. Galaxy Gear has never been something that I really uh, that I really found interesting. Uh, any of those smartwatches, I just never they don't really do anything for me. But when I saw the Moto 360, I actually thought it looked really nice, and it's something that's not uh, overly goofy looking. It looks like a nice, finely crafted piece of hardware or a nice watch. And and so I was curious what you guys thought about that, and if it's something you would wear. Now we're just probably approaching what Apple's going to release as far as a wearable device. At least that's the rumor anyway. And I'm not sure what that means. It, it could be something really great. It could be something that I still won't wear. Moto 360 is probably the closest to something that I actually find actually interesting. As far as uh, wearables in general though, they just really don't do anything for me. I tend to find it easier to look at my smartphone. Uh, I can see glancing at your wrist really quickly, at your watch. Uh, it's nice to have a heads-up display in front of you, but it's not something that I want to wear unless it's kind of a pair of sunglasses that you can't tell. Uh, while you're using them on a bike, it really isn't that big of a deal. And it's nice, but they've really got to mature quite a bit before it's something that I think the mass population will actually adopt. So let me know what you think in the comments below. I could kind of ran randomly, or ramble rather, on and on uh, about... Google Glass and Android Wear and Moto 360 and supposedly others that are coming out from LG and other makers. 
Uh, I'd really be curious to think or to see what you think. So let me know in the comments below and let me know what you'd use and why and what you'd like to see that isn't out maybe that they haven't come up with or some app ideas, things like that. Let me know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.